day right now, sort of. A little sunny, kind of cloudy though. Um, I got the SR out right now, I'm trying to let it warm up so I can just compression test it, see what the uh, health of the engine's like, because I plan on selling it. Whole swap, pretty much radiator to drive shaft, um, so I can get my RB in there. Um, let it warm up right now. Uh, let's see, cleaned the car last weekend because it was sort of nice out just to get the dirt off it from trailering it. So looking a little bit cleaner than it was. I have the hood in the garage. Um, I'm gonna probably gonna, I might put that on now. I'm not sure yet. There's still a little, there's a few bugs to kind of work out. I gotta get a good battery in there because the battery in there is pretty much shot. Um, but yeah, right now I'm just letting it warm up compression test it I have new I have stock s14 seats to put in so I'm gonna put those in because there's a Sparco seat in there right now that um, sits really high because of the rails in it and me being you know six four six five I do not fit in it and my head literally hits the roof <laughs> and this is a sunroof car so I can like stick my head out the sunroof if I wanted to but yeah I'm gonna um, put those in vacuum under there because I vacuumed the car the whole entire car last time I had it so go through it um, put the seats in you know make them make it a little bit comfier in there for now till we get some Recaro's in there I really want um, Recaro confetti's in there but that'll be later down the road but yeah for now I'm just gonna go through the car a little bit I have my girlfriend with me she's being a hermit where is she She's back in the garage, I can't even see her right now. But yeah, there's a few bugs I'm gonna try to go through today, like the passenger window switch doesn't work. I'm gonna go through that, see what's up with that. Uh, see if I can swap out the driver window switch button because I think one of the buttons actually broke. So it likes to stay down or stay up. It doesn't have that click in it. So I'm gonna, the guy gave me a spare switch, so I'm gonna see if I can rob one of the switches and pop it in and see if that will, if I can even do that, you know, and try to fix that issue. Um, besides that, I think that's all I'm gonna really be doing today. You know, putting the seats in, doing a compression test, going over the car again, probably organize the garage, because my garage is a clutter right now. It is just a mess with all the stuff I have from my old car, you know, and then the stuff I brought in for this car, so. Yeah, man, just letting it warm up right now. I'm trying to get it uh, a little warmed up. The paint looks really good in here. It looks really nice. Yeah, and I got a, there's a lot coming for this car, you know. I got to mount, I got to get a battery mount, mount that properly because this is not safe at all. Probably put zero gauge in, rewire it correctly. Probably gonna bedline, put a truck bed liner in the whole trunk area, clean it up a little bit, take out the amplifier because uh, who wants that? I want to actually hear my car. Yeah, some weather strip I found, a seat belt, bunch of junk. There's a lot of stereo wires that I'm gonna be so happy ripping those out. So I'll take those out, get this baby cleaned up a little bit more. Then I got the inside to worry about. As you can see, here's that Sparco seat. And I'm sure you can imagine, me in here, I don't fit. <laughs> My head is on the roof. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but you probably can't, but this seat, you know, this is an SE, so it's got leather seats, but there's obviously the stock rails are much lower. So I can fit on this side perfectly fine. And I fit, in my S13 just fine. Um, I actually have plenty of headroom and everything and legroom. So yeah, definitely gonna take this out, you know, sell it for 50 bucks because I don't want this. Put the stock seats in, feel a little bit more roomier. And I have um, the front, the driver's seat, passenger seat, and the rear seats. So I'm gonna like kind of ditch the leather because I'm not too into that. Maybe I'll sell it, I might hold on to it, I'm not sure yet. But uh, yeah, got a few things to button up on this interior as well. Um, radio bezel cracked, but Street Faction makes one where it has um, two gauges um, you can put in there. 
So I'll probably end up buying that so I can have my boost gauge in there. Um, and probably my AFR gauge in there as well. I have the center vent. I just took that out just to take it out. Um, yeah, I have a nice steering wheel to put on here. I just have to buy a quick release for it because this one is really janky. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the inside. I vacuumed this whole thing out, got all the junk out. We got plans to come for a new carpet because it's ripped. Maybe do new door cards, these are a little dirty. I have to get a center console because this lid is just messed up like yeah I can do that with it and it's just broke right down in there so get a new one of those um, yeah that's, that's pretty much it right now and then the, the other big thing is I have to get um, either a whole ignition set so by that an ignition ignition cylinder the door locks and then a trunk lock because the key I was given was only for the ignition, and well, first of all, it's really sloppy, so I can't, it's just a pain to even try to get it uh, get it turned on. Um, get that, but that key doesn't match the doors or the trunk, so I'm assuming someone swapped out the ignition at one point, and you know, obviously they didn't switch out the doors because they just wanted to do the ignition. Um, so I got to either get a new set. I know I can't buy them new because I've already tried through my job to find them and you can't get them anymore. Nissan doesn't sell them. So um, I have two options. Well, yeah, two options. I have to try to rekey them myself, repin it, or I could just take it to a locksmith um, because they usually have all the tools for that and see if they can do it. So I might just end up doing that. It'll probably make life a little bit easier. Just have them rekey it to that key right there. Um, repin the ignition key to the doors in the trunk, call it a day, and um, I should be good from there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna let this thing warm up a little bit more, um, and then I'll get to uh, compression test today. In the meantime, I'm just gonna vacuum the seats, clean them off, and then um, yeah, I'll probably start, uh, I'll probably do the seats after I compression test it. So, yeah, let me do that now, and I'll see you guys in a few. Jogging in place. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ooh, let me get steady there. We did a compression test on this car. Stop beeping. Did a compression test on it. Uh, pretty much the readings came out cylinder one, two, and four. 
came out to 150, which is good. Um, cylinder three was low at 120. Um, added some oil and the reading shot up to 150 like the others. So we have a piston ring problem. You know, cylinder's not sealing 100%. The car does run. The spark plugs look like, you know, crappy. So the porcelain's cracked like really bad on one of them and it's completely split. And that was the one on cylinder three. So, um, it's possible that cylinder was running a little bit leaner um, due to the plug being cracked um, and possibly cause this problem. So I'm going to throw a set of plugs in it probably. Um, it does run okay, it's just that cylinder is a little bit lower compression. So that at least tells me um, the overall health of the engine itself. Um, definitely needs some TLC because whoever did the swap on it, and I'm not judging the previous owner because I don't it wasn't him it's, he said it was another guy before him they just did it kind of like ghetto there's a lot of things just like that aren't in the right place and just ghetto about it but um yeah you can see like ghetto rig cooling overflow there's just wires and vacuum lines routed everywhere you know everything's dirty but I don't know I'm still gonna sell it that cylinder though is just a little bit lower. You can see here the porcelain is completely cracked through. And this was the one on cylinder three, so definitely running a little bit leaner, as you can tell on the condition of the spark plug itself. The other ones were decent at best, but uh, yeah, they definitely needed to be changed, I think, a while ago. That and I think this didn't come with a spark plug cover, so I think one of these guys ran it without a cover and got water in it because these things were really gunked up. Even in the cylinders are kind of gunked up, but yeah, still gonna sell it. But at least when I sell it, you're gonna know that the condition of it is uh, probably gonna need. I mean, I would do if it was my engine, I would do you know, a rebuild on it, you know, get some fresh pistons and rings in there. Um, yeah, and definitely do that to get this thing straightened out, but still gonna sell the full swap. Definitely gonna be a little bit cheaper now that cylinder three is a little bit lower than the others. But uh, we'll definitely get it sold. So, all right, that's that on the uh, compression testing. So that's done. I'm going to vacuum the seats now, get them cleaned up, and then probably get the other seats out. So be back in a little bit. All right, guys, got this fucking seat out. Oop, I cursed. Got this thing out. That was a mission and a half because it's fixed. <sighs> but got the stock driver, stock passenger, and the stock rear seats in. I know I got a bunch of stuff out right now. So, yeah, that's all I did today. Just made a quick video of doing the seats and compression testing it. So... I got some stuff done. I'll try to get more stuff done um, probably on the weekend. Probably test out the uh, the switches for the window switch because that one doesn't work on the passenger side. Do stuff with the driver side switch. Try to get that figured out. Um, yeah, that seems like everything so far. I have to bolt up the driver side seat, but which I will do. Um, probably another day. I have the bolt for it. I just got to hook it up down here. So, do that. Clean the rest of this up. And, uh, we'll go from there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you guys, you know, tuning in and, uh, watching me dissect this car little by little. And cleaning it up little by little as well. It's going to be a little bit of a journey to clean this thing up and make it my own, you know. The biggest thing right now is to get this SR out, get it sold, so then I can start mocking up the uh, RB25 in it, um, make the clearances I have to make with the trans tunnel if it's not already done, um, so I can fit the trans in there, fix the rust in the engine bay, and then from there it's painting and uh, sorting out exactly what I need um, to make the RB work. Because I have a few things. I have the swap work with the old car. I just have to get like a few new things, like you know, coolant reservoir, and I'm gonna route a few things differently. So 
Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you.